Good afternoon. It is June 3rd, 2011, Friday. Welcome. Before we get into what I had planned, I came across this yesterday from the Young Turks. I want you to listen very carefully to what's being said here. You set yourself up to be called a bigot because now you want to profile people at the airport. Well, no, you can't win, Rand. I mean, I know, they, they've I know, got an answer for everything. But here's the thing, Sean, is I'm not for profiling people on the color of their skin or on their religion, but I would take into account where they've been traveling, and perhaps you might have to indirectly take into account whether or not they've been going to radical uh, political speeches by religious leaders, but it wouldn't be that they are Islamic. But if someone is uh, attending speeches from someone who is promoting the violent overthrow of our government, that's really an offense that we should be going after. They should be deported or put in prison. Now, according to Rand Paul, and if you don't know who he is, he is the junior United States Senator for the great state of Kentucky. I'm not going to hold it against Kentucky for having elected him, but be that as it may. According to Rand, I should be arrested because of these. Years since I've done any real public speaking, I am basically a geek. Okay? I'm the guy you lock in the server room. The government, they're not listening to us anymore. No, they haven't since Ronald Reagan. Okay? I say we change those rules, if they're rules at all. I say we start anew. Ladies and gentlemen of the United States of America, let me inform you that Mr. Rand Paul is absolutely wrong. And not only that, but if there is a clash, I won't call it violence, but let's just call it a clash. If there is a clash, it's because, because honorable senators from small states who manage to get themselves elected because they are kiss and kin to popular figures have no grasp of what is really going on out there. Just before we get into the rest of this, just wanted to point that out to you. Be just what I am. So let me, at this point, repeat the same salutation, shall we call it, from May 22nd of this year to the GOP. Those of you who ran in the streets and protested the horrible war in Vietnam, who then bought into the capitalist dream, I salute you. Am I making myself very clear now? I think so. Thank you. It's Cliff Potts. Thank you for your time. Once again, may your God go with you. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye for now.